What's up guys? Today we're not walking the tightrope. Oh shit. We're actually uh, doing the alignment. There's a little trick I saw on YouTube. Basically you take two jack stands, one in the back, one in the front, run a wire across of it. Uh, it's just some, some string. And uh, what you want to do is you want to make it so that it's parallel with this rim. And you could do that. You know, you measure on the front and the back side. And uh, once these are equal, that means the rope is parallel straight with the vehicle. Uh, you adjust it by moving the jack stands in and out. And since this is parallel with the vehicle, it's perfectly straight. Now you come to the front and you check the same exact thing. The back isn't adjustable, so that's always straight unless you got hit or something. But you come here, you measure, you take down the reading. I think this one's a little bit over two. Uh, inches, so two and one sixteenth. We already aligned this side, and this reading is the same. You change your alignment by coming. All right, this is what this is what I was saying before I got cut off. Uh, you change the alignment by turning the tie rods in and out. On this side, if you turn it up, it brings the wheel in. If you turn it down, another wrench, you bring it down. That he. Uh, that brings out the alignment and uh, you know it's the same thing on the other side you do one side at a time this isn't perfect but you know it gets the job done if you have a partner or a buddy you want to make sure that the steering wheel stays center at all times you know dead even because that's how you'd want it when you're driving and that's all there is to it just make sure you tighten everything back up we're not going to come to this side and we'll we'll go over that all right, so here we are. You can see the uh, the lock nut right here. Move it right there. You just back it away, and then you just turn this inner guy right here where the threads are. No, over here, this side, right there, oh. in and out to adjust your alignment. We're gonna check now to see if our line is still straight. And uh, let's see. Okay. see two and three sixteenths and two and three sixteenths so that's that now he's just gonna turn it in and out we'll figure out which way we need to go right now by measuring this and I'm gonna shut this off because I cannot do this at once Okay, so we adjusted it so that these lengths are equal. They both came out to one and seven eighths, and that means this side is now aligned. So you can see my steering wheel is perfectly straight, and that's all there is to it. You just do the process on both sides. You can recheck it if you're crazy. Now you just need to tighten the bolt down there with two uh, two adjustables, the uh, the lock nut. I'm sorry, and that's it. You are now. You know, have a somewhat temporary alignment. I mean, you could ride it like this if you want, if you trust your work. Oh, another thing, when you pull forward, you're going to want to put it on top of, I put on two pieces of cardboard to minimize the friction so you could spin, uh, so, so when you adjust the tie rod, it, it immediately reflects on the wheel. This works okay. Some people use like two tiles with grease in between so it slides really easily. Whatever, whatever you do, soapy water on the ground, doesn't matter. You just need, uh, need it freely moving, make sure the steering wheel is straight. We also did the other Volvo over there, and here we had a major improvement. Not perfect, but good enough. Drivable. So, that's all there is to it.